Next, I want to talk to you about activations. During your turn, you will activate your troops. There are six possible types of activations you can use on your troops. Movement, shoot, fight, rally, reload, and interact. We'll go through each one individually. To activate, you will need virtue. A capo that has a command range of zero, like the banker here from the scenario deck, can only make activations himself using his own virtue. He cannot make an activation that includes other troops. Whereas a knight can make activations with troops around him. Same goes for a banner. To make an activation, you will take some of the tokens off your card to show they are spent, and you will roll the dice for whatever activation you do. You will then choose the better result. If you roll multiple dice and receive multiple crits, you may choose the result. Depending on what activation you're doing, you may either use virtue dice or simple dice as described in the basics video. Three interactions use virtue dice and have crit successes and crit fails. Fight, movement and shooting all use virtue dice and have crit successes and crit failures depending on which virtue you use. All have crit failures and crit successes depending. Reload still uses virtues to do but does not have a crit success or crit fail chart. For the chart, see the rule book. When a capo makes an activation, including other troops, all troops must do the act exact same activation with the same dice. A troop or model can only be activated as often as the actions value on their logistics card. Over the course of the round, they mo may only be activated by a total number of virtue dice equaling their faith. Think of it this way. Virtue is the currency that you can spend. Actions are the amount of opportunities you have to spend your, your virtue. Faith is the total amount that you are allowed to spend during a round. A capo does not count as using his activation to activate other models unless he does the activation with them. If this knight were to make an active movement activation with these halberdiers to move them to the other side of him to block an attack, then that would not count as a movement activation for the knight because he did not take part in the movement. If he were to move alongside them, then he would count as having used a movement activation. The same goes for any other form of activation. If at the end of a round, models are not within the command range of a capo with unburnt virtue, the models are removed at the end of that round. This means that they have fled. Maybe it's because they've want, these mercenaries have ended up a little bit too far out of the command range of whoever has been sent to make sure that they do their job and they've slipped away quietly in the chaos of battle, saving their own necks. Or through morale loss, they have decided to flee.